Speaking of love and not getting love back, Marquise Jackson, you know who that is. He is the eldest son of Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Now, he recently hopped on Instagram Live to discuss the amount of money he receives a month from his father via child support. Um, according to Marquise, the $6,700 a month uh, he received isn't quite enough to maintain his lifestyle in New York. He feels like he deserves more. What do y'all think about this? Al, what do you think? Is What do you think about this? Um, that's a good question. Let's see. Um, $6,700 a month is not a lot of money in, in um, New York City. But does he live with his mother, right? He's still underage. How old is he? Uh, I think he's about 13. 13? No. He's about 18, huh? He's almost 18. I think he only has well, like If he's 18, eight. he why is he year. still getting support? I think he's on his last year. Oh, on his last year. Oh, so he wants more money now. Hmm. I don't know. If he's doing it by himself, he definitely probably needs a little bit more money than $6,700. I mean, come on. He's 50's son. You know, he has had an apartment. He's got to eat, move around, car, etc. cetera. Mm, I'm going to say 50 got the money. Annie up. Right. Okay. Gary? You know, it's a sad situation. Though. 50 may have the money, but my thing is, if, if 50 says he's paying his mama child support, that means, honey, which he did say half of the money was going to his mom and other half was going to him. I never heard nothing like that. First of all, it should all go to her. Nothing should go to him. She should run the house and take care of him on that part. But then on the other half of it, uh, you need to get your ass a job. Honey, if you able to work, go work. Work and get your dog on money and stuff. You can, don't live off your damn money. Live off your own money and stuff. If that's the damn case, if he's old enough to be working, yeah, what do you expect? Hold up, we are wrong, and we, you know, I, I hate when we get things wrong. He's not underage. They're saying he's 25 years old. Yeah, I thought he was. Really? Old. So that changes everything. Um, if I'm 25 and I'm getting $6,700 a month from my dad, um, that that is that is extra money. Now, in normal relationships, when you have a super rich, wealthy daddy, and you're 25, 30, 40 years old, you you can be taken care of. But 50 Cent don't like Marquise. He you actually sure hates, he hates his son. He can't stand the mother. And he can't stand his son, so he's not gonna give him anything extra for being. It's sad, mm. but he's not, and he's not obligated. Unfortunately, what I would do with that, see, I would be working, and I would flip that money. That's enough to flip. You can buy some properties. You can do something. Yeah. With it. Imagine right. if we got an extra sixty-seven hundred dollars a month. I wish my daddy would give me a hundred dollars for some books I paid oh, for back in my college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to work for it. But you know what, though, too, though, Claudia and Al, the sad thing about it is, though, too. I mean, look at Tori Spelling. Her dad, Aaron Spencer, was the richest damn man in Hollywood. Look what happened. She ain't got nothing. She had to go work for it. Because, honey, when he died, baby, Miss Candy said, girl, you're on your own. Her mama took all the coins, honey, and baby, left Miss Tori out there, honey, like a little a wounded animal. So, <laughs> he's, um, so he's he's lucky, um, Mr. Um, 50's son, honey. He just should be happy and thank God, honey, he getting what he got. I wonder why he didn't leave her any money, allegedly. This is all allegedly, of course. Yeah. I know. Isn't that sad? Because your daddy had the, big, the biggest house in Hollywood. Well, you know, that's what Bill Gates said, that he's, that how he's going to treat his um his kids. Remember, Melinda Gates had to step in. Yeah. He said that he wasn't going to leave his billions of dollars to his kids. It was most of it was going to go to charity, and he would, you know, give them a little bit, but to the tune of maybe a couple of million, and that's it. Man, if he moved, to, if, if if Marquise moved to Atlanta or or Texas or some of these other little red states, he'd be balling out of control with sixty seven hundred. Yeah. Because a lot of these celebrities, quite as kept, be making a little less than that and be looking real rich because they're renting yeah. seven hundred dollars and they can spend the rest of it on designer clothes. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names, but Gary, <laughs> you know there's a whole bunch of them down in Atlanta that are doing that now. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious.